Hello everyone, welcome to another simple tutorial in OpenBox Tech channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to see your internet speed or how to show your internet speed on the taskbar here. So first of all, I'm going to show you how you can see your internet speed manually from the task manager. So if you right click on the taskbar here, you'll go to the task manager here and it will open the task manager here. So if you click on performance here then you can see here's an option called Wi-Fi or in your case you can have Ethernet here so if you have Ethernet click on Ethernet so I have Wi-Fi so if I click on Wi-Fi here and you can see the internet speed here send and receive here and here you can see the send and receive here so how much send and receive kilobyte per second it shows here so this is how you manually see your internet speed so to show the internet speed in the taskbar you need to download the software which is free and so just go to the google here and search for net speed monitor here and you will find a, a website here which is softpedia so this link will be in the description so you can just click and go to this website so you have to download this net speed monitor here is this is a free and safe software for your PC so here you'll we'll have a download now option so just click on download now here and here we can see the download option here which is 64 bit so probably we all have 64 bit windows here so just click on 64 bit here and this will take you to the download page and it will show you a download pop-up for you if you're using Firefox or Chrome so you can see the download pop-up is here which is the MSI file and only 3.5 MB so I'm just going to click save file to download it and you can see it's starting to download here and after downloading the option you just have to go to the file where you have downloaded the full file here so I'm just gonna click to open the folder here and here you can see the net speed monitor is here so first to download this uh, sorry to install this you need to configure this first because this the file is not updated anymore so, so probably it will show you a error message so just have to right click on it first you need to go to the properties here then you have to go to the compatibility option here so if you have newer version of windows 10 you have to do that so if you go to the compatibility option then you have to check mark the run this program in compatibility mode for so check this and you have to choose the previous version of Windows here so just click apply and then click OK then you have to install this software here so just double click on it click run here and it will show you the installation process here so just click next uh, click next here and click I accept click next then it will install in the C program files so click next here and just click install and it will start to install and install here so just click finish so now you cannot see the internet speed here so you have to manually op open that up so you just need to go to the file manager here then go to this PC here and go to the C folder go to the C folder then you have to go to the where you install so I have installed in the program files it, it it will automatically install the program files if you don't change the location here so I'm just going to open the program files and here you will see net speed monitor here you can see the net speed monitor is here so just open that and you can see net speed monitor application here so just click that and it will show you do you want to do you want the net speed monitor toolbar on your taskbar so if you click yes it will add it to the taskbar so click yes here and also you can select your language from here these are the language that are supported right now so I'm gonna choose English here and also you can select your network for network interface here so if you have lots of interface here you can choose what kind of inf interface do you want so let's just set as the default here and you can also save the traffic logging here so it will uh, save you a database here and you can see where the database will be in save here you can check monthly what kind of um, 
how much you've net you've used in months so it will save your database here so right now i don't need this so i'm just gonna uncheck this box here and click save here and you can see the tags in the tags bar the net speed is showing here so if you hover over the mouse here and you can see how much you're using right now send receive month to the session so if you right click on it and you can also see monitoring on also monitoring off here also you can see the configuration here so if you click configuration here this will show you some more option here here we can change the interface here also you can change the byte rate from here so if you want to change the kilobit per second to kilobyte here also you can choose a megabyte or megabit megabit here so if you want to change that you can change then just choose it and if also you can change the language here then you can also see you can change the layout here so if you want to change your font here you can choose any other font that you want like change any font that you want uh, choose another font and if we also change the size of the font here so it's 8 here so if I choose 12 and you can also make it bold here click if you check bold then you can choose that also the position value wide and download and upload options so just click apply and you can see the font and also the download option is changed here if you right click on it go to configuration and also you can change see the database here so you can enable the traffic database from here again and also you can see the tooltip here so if you uncheck the tooltip here so if you hover over the internet speed here it will not show that option the tooltip option here so if, if you want to uncheck that you can do that also if you go to the advanced option here you can see the reset option here so it will go back to the reset option uh, it it was so if you click on that and click yes and your configuration has been successfully re re reset as you can see it's back to the normal again so now we can see the internet speed is showing here now let's do some speed test here so if i go to the firefox here again so let's just go to youtube here and you can see how much uh, globites are receiving and also sending so that's it guys this is how you show internet speed in your tax bar here also if you want to close it just right click on it and you will see the close option you can just close it here and then you have to open that up just go to the c folder and open the tax bar uh, internet speed in the tax bar here so that's it guys if this video is helpful for you so please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching